Hello everybody and welcome to Bozeman, where tomorrow four state volleyball tournaments will tip off right here inside Brick Breeden Fieldhouse. The Billings West volleyball team starts its tournament at noon and with a roster loaded with sophomores, they haven't experienced anything quite like the atmosphere they will this weekend. My hope is that they just they feed off that energy and they look to our older girls that have been in that environment before and just um, look to their leadership for that because it is it is a whole different game when you get in there and um, just everything going on and making sure that you stay focused on what you're there to do. She's kind of just shared to us to just focus in on our court. Obviously there's three other courts and there's a lot of whistles going on so we've kind of just been focusing on playing through the whistle until we know the play's over with because it might not be our whistle and then just making sure we're focused in on our game and what's happening on our court. As talented as that sophomore class is, it's missing one of its biggest pieces. Courtney Grossman went down with a torn ACL in September, and while the Golden Bears have had to fill that void, it's also given them added motivation. It's the toughest loss ever, but you know, we went through summer tournaments without her, so that was kind of helpful. We kind of knew how to play without her, even though we started with her, but yeah, she's definitely our motivation right now. And we're definitely playing for her. It was a hard loss, but it's all for her right now, yeah. And it's really hard to play without her just because she's kind of my buddy on the court, but I think that our team is doing a good job kind of playing for her and um, knowing that we're playing our best because we wanted it for her. More fuel to the fire came in the Eastern AA title game when Great Falls CMR beat West for the third time this season. The Bears are hoping they've learned enough from those three meetings to come out on top should they play again this weekend. There's more things on our side to take care of, just making sure that we're uh, focusing on what we need to do, uh, making sure that we're limiting our errors and um, making sure we're keeping track of certain hitters on their team and keeping them uh, at bay. I think we're improving, we're working on what we needed to from our last game, so I think this weekend it's going to be maybe a different outcome. So. West will face Kalispell Glacier in the opening round at noon as the Bears search for their first state AA volleyball title since 2009. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.